From the resemblance of old traditional economies to capitalism, a bug's life greatly portrays the way humans have interacted within economic systems. The ant colony, which is a bug's life source of struggle and triumph, initially embodied a typical old traditional economy. Isolated from and unknowing of, the rest of the bug world, the ants relied on the fruits of their own labor for survival. In other words, they were subsistence farmers. Notably, Fleck looks to invent better technology for collecting crops. This demonstrates outer world influence on the old traditional economy as the need for better technology arises from the exploitation of the ant colony by the grasshoppers, which caused an increase in demand for production and collection within the ant colony. The ants can either gather food strictly for themselves and risk the grasshoppers damaging their society, the food? or the ants can give up their gains in exchange for protection. This exemplifies the economic principle of facing trade-offs. It's almost the rainy season. We need this time to gather food for ourselves. Listen, if you don't keep your end of the bargain, then I can't guarantee your safety, and there are insects out there that will take advantage of you. Someone could get hurt. The depiction of market capitalism is very loud in this scene where Fleck enters a big commercialized city with billboards reading Jackson's Jumbo Pretzels, Darla, Ben and Audrey's Frozen Bagels, and Hannah's Bananas. The billboard's depiction of market capitalism is that of most commercialized places around the world, such as America and Japan. Also shown are the dealings of a globalized society, such as homelessness and public transportation. Oh, are you, I'm really, really sorry. 